What's up guys, how's it going? Michael here from MB Fishing. Um, on today's episode, I'm going to be going through my pen tackle bag. This has all of my saltwater gear in it. So let's get right into it. Uh, so this bag's really nice. Um, comes with a bunch of different boxes in it. Here, if I can get it open. So you can see it comes with four boxes. So I'll start off on the outside, I think. Um, Here's some 30 pound mono leader. I have some um, bottom fishing hooks, some oversized bobbers, a little bit of rope down in there, and there's just some assorted weights too, if you could see them. But also in the side here, I think it's just, yeah, it's just a weight in there. but. So going into the main compartment, this is 500 pound mono. This is what I make for my shock leader for shark fishing. Um, here, this first box is just like some miscellaneous stuff. So I have a big Savage Gear jerk bait, Cuda tube, some spoons, this is a voodoo shrimp, I think it's what, what it's called. And then I have a bunch of swim baits just sitting in there. Um, I mean, none of this is really organized any specific way. I just kind of have it thrown in, except for my uh, terminal tackle boxes. And this one, let's see what we got. I have bucktail jig. Um, Diamond jig, some spoons, big popper. Uh, the name of this lure is a deadly dick. Uh, it's actually a pretty good lure, surprisingly. Uh, I hooked one of my biggest striped bass ever on that thing. Another diamond jig. I'm not really sure what this is. It's a type of topwater lure for bluefish. And I have another bucktail jig with a... Uh, with an eel trailer on it, which is pretty sweet. It's great, great for stripers. All right. Next box, I think I'll just go into this. In here, I have a bunch of, it's not filled, but I have a bunch of just random circle hooks. So, like I think these are 16 knots. Yeah, you see those, and then, these are, they're kind of rusted. I got them for free from a guy, but they're really sharp, so. And you won't feel really bad about leaving them in a shark because you know they'll rust away pretty quick. Those were eights, and then I think those are fours. So, I have more hooks in the next box, which is just mainly more terminal tackle. You can see in there, there's a bunch of fish scales I have two flay knives. This one is my actual flay knife and this one's my bait knife. And I use this to uh, close the um, thimbles for my shark rigs that wrench. But you go in here. These are all uh, 16 aught mustad circles inline circles um what else we got in here we have all kinds of swim bait hooks you can see for those swim baits in the other box there's some i think these are eight off circle hooks um these are little trocar bait hooks these are great for um like live lining bait fish or shrimp to catch um to catch like snapper and stuff. Those are really good. I got all kinds of random weights in here. Um, some, of, some of the stuff has like accidentally shifted in between compartments, but I mean, in here is just a, I think that's a nine ounce circle hook. Um, I got some of these hooks. These are just standard. These are what I mainly use for snapper and stuff like that. Um, there's a spoon in there for some reason. There's uh, 
some snaps for shark rigs. Um, these are thimbles, which are used to protect the mono in, um, in your swivel for all that stuff. So that's pretty much all my terminal. So those are all the boxes. Um, I'm just gonna go in here real quick. I have a bunch of other like pre-tied rigs as well as, I think I have some plastics in here too. Let's see what we got. Is there anything else in there? Nope. And I must have ran out of wire because there's not any wire in here anymore. But I have, um, that's a mooching rig. So it's basically like a two hook rig for bait fish. Like I mainly use these for lake trout, but I mean, they work pretty good for, uh, for like putting on bait fish and like casting and retrieving them. If you're into that for like barracuda or whatever, here's a uh, snelled hooks for stripers, six aught, octopus hooks, uh, big J hooks for bluefish with wire leader, six aught, um, two snapper slash croaker eagle claw rigs, more uh, striper stuff. That's some stuff for tog fishing. Another mooching rig. More uh, pre tied striper rigs. These are like my heaviest duty ones. They have 60 pound mono with, uh, I think those are six odd hooks again. I'm not sure. Um, here's another blackfish slash tog rig. They're the same thing, but. And here's um, some. Plastics of molting peeler crabs. These uh, work good if you're like. That's pretty much it. Um, if you guys want, if you guys want, I think next video I'm going to make a video of how to tie a shark rig. So if you guys are into that, stay tuned. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.